Hello friends, this is a lecture number two. In this lecture, I will tell you how to add hardware in TA portal. You can see here, these are some article number. This is the article number of the CPU. This is the input module article number. This is the output module article number. And this is the analog input module. I will tell you how to add this article number hardware in TA portal software let's start first you have to create new project and give this is the hardware and you can see this is a comment box you can add any comment regarding this project like I will write here hardware selection these are my comment lecture okay and this is a software version this is a path create the project okay now you have to go configure advice add new device So come here, your CPU is step 1200, step 7, 1200, so you have to go there, step 7, 1200, the CPU, now your CPU is start from 214, okay, so I will open 214. you can see here 1DG40 1DG 1BG40 this one OXB0 OXB0 this is our CPU so this is our matching here so I will select this one and uh, you can this is your CPU this is a AC DC relay type CPU okay the supply is DAC and operating on DC and this is a relay type this is article number this is a version number you can see and you can check this version in your hardware and you can change here okay 4.33 4.2 according your hardware and this is a complete description of the your CPU its work memory is 1 kilobytes and you can see all the input it has digital input 14 and digital output 10 and two analog input okay I will head add the CPU in our project next one is the our input module so you have to add this input module in your project So this is the your CPU. Click here and go to input module, digital input module here. And your article number is two to one. Start from two to one. So you can see here the two to one, one B A three zero. And this is the same with the 3, 2. So, this is a 1 over. Okay. So, you will pick and drag in 2. This is our CPU. This is our digital input module. Next one is output module. And start from triple 2. So I will go here, digital output module and start from triple two, one B A three two. 
is same 1 x b 0 this is at 0 x so I will go other one this is a 1 ok 1 x b 0 this is a 0 x b 0 so in our hardware is 1 x b 0 so I will select this one and drag the module number 3 ok and next one last one is our analog input module start from 2 3 1 this is a analog input module starting number and 4 H F 32 so I will go here is the analog input module and go to 4 H F I will 32 OSB 0 this one is ok I will pick and place here for number module ok so our hardware selection is completed all the module we have created in our software hardware selection ok now you have to go you have to select CPU ok now you have to check all the parameters of the CPU this is a our property box uh, you have to go general ok I will open zoom this one ok and it will give complete introduction of the CPU journal ok is the project information PS name is the project the PLC as slot 1 and rack 0 this is the rack 0 as slot 1 this is a complete information of the CPU description article number you can change firmware version as per your hardware CPU ok next one is identification and maintenance you can insert date according your project like plan designation location identifier installation date addition information you can give the some information like maintenance installation in these boxes this is a simple checksum text list software and this is a prominent interface internet address you can change your CPU address by this internet address, address icon IP, IP protocol you can change this time I have selected 192.168.0 and 1 this is a sub net mask number is mostly common for all the networking 255 this is a sub net mask ok time synchronization operation mode is an advanced option you, this is a total input and output CPU our CPU has the 14 input and 10 digital outputs it is a gives other information like digital input channel number 0 input filter is 6.4 millisecond ok you can change according your requirement this is the 14 channel input and this one is the 14 sorry 10 output channels ok the IOS this is a 2 analog input IO addresses start from 62 sorry 64 uh, and 67 I will tell you in future lecture about the IO addresses I will give, uh, give complete introduction of the hardware of the CPU this is a high speed counter is a pulse generators like PTO PWM is for like your servo motor stepper motor I will also discuss in future lectures when I will tell you about the how to control servo motor in by Siemens 
okay this is a communication load is the time of the day you can change the time you can change the date okay and this is a opc server like you want to communicate your C uh, cmon plc with your scada you have to select opc server i will this is also advanced lecture i will tell you in last of the this tutorial okay so this is io tags i will also tell you in lex, uh, lecture number 3 io tags how to create uh, how to we can change the io tags number addresses in future lecture and this is our information of the input digital input module okay same like cpu information this is our digital output module this is the analog input module it gives to a complete information of the IO addresses, IO tags, system constants, and taxes. So, in this lecture, I give complete introduction of the hardware, how to we add the hardware in the our software. So, in future lecture, I will give you a give the programming and uh, how to create IO tags in the software in future lecture. So, okay, bye.